Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here to take you around a Short Track STW 102 by 16 enclosed cargo trailer. So the STW on Short Track would refer to the enclosed cargo line versus the STWCH would refer to the enclosed car hauler line. We'll get around to some of the differences between the two, but this here is more ideal for an average contractor, landscaper, or somebody that's going to use it for a work trailer, where the STWCH, the car hauler line, would be more ideal for somebody that's more of a UTV user or power sports user. Everything you see here is standard equipment. The only option that we've added to this one is the 5,200 pound axle upgrade. Everything else shown is standard on this particular model trailer. Of course, it is shown in a white exterior. Let's take a look around it and we'll show you some of the new for 21 features on this. So standard equipment is going to be a 2 and 5 16 inch coupler. It's pretty standard in the industry. Uh, it's got a six inch tongue. Now this tongue is actually the frame as well. So it's a six inch tube tongue and frame. Many in the industry are going to do a six inch tube tongue and then they'll drop back to a six inch junior I-beam going back to sides for the main frame. This still has tube all the way back. You also notice all the little niceties. Uh, the tube is protected. It's fully sealed in, capped on the end for acid rain, salt, etc. You also notice up front Instead of the traditional A-frame jack, this actually has a setback 7,000 pound jack. So not only is it set back, which stays out of the way of your tailgate and keeps from dinging it, this puts it real close to wanting to hit every time. Uh, it's also a much heavier duty jack and it has full extension, no need to carry around wood blocks or similar. So the inner leg is going to drop all the way down, there's a handful of positions, and then your outer sleeve on the jack here uh, extends out via the top line handle gives you a lot of extension. Uh, safety chains, of course, are required. One nice thing about Short Track on these, these are an equipment grade safety chain, much heavier than they need to be. There's also a location on those uh, to store them. A seven pin plug is standard equipment, as is a sealed wiring harness. So if you look, it's a fully sealed harness, it does have an integrated plug holder, which is nice. It's also got a dual prong connection. Uh, this is pretty standard on most modern pickup trucks. So again, there is an integrated plug holder. You'll notice that jack is a bolt-on jack. Makes it uh, very simple if you ever were to need to replace a jack or if you wanted to move it or similar. Uh, the placement there would be the most ideal, but occasionally we'll get users that have special requirements. Uh, you also notice that this is a triple tube tongue. Most in the industry would not have that center drawbar. It'd just be a standard A-frame. This trailer is designed for a high-duty cycle user. Just makes it a little bit more durable. You also notice the jack does have a greaser on it for uh, for some extra serviceability. Of course, all the standard features like your breakaway cables, etc. Uh, the way this tongue's laid out, the breakaway box is on the inside of the trailer. Also, not the outside makes it nice if you want to use weight distribution or similar. And again, the wiring is sealed, molded, and grommeted, and ran in frame. Very clean looking trailer. A couple newer things for this year. Short Tracks uh, for the last several years done the bright vertical nose strip. Uh, now for 2021, they've added the bright corners as well. Give it a nice clean finished look. Also the bullet LED lights are newer to the industry. Give it a nice look. And then two foot stone guard is standard equipment. So some, some do a 16 inch or so. This comes up just a little bit higher, gives you a little bit more protection. You also notice the trim on this, a three inch trim. Uh, industry norm would be a one inch so uh, with the taller trim you're actually going two lags high instead of uh, one and it's actually uh, lags in this not your uh, not your traditional trim screw a little bit heavier constructed also nice how they do the minor corners on the trim instead of just cutting them to a 90. if the sides look a little bit cleaner it's because they are this is a fully screwless exterior it's an 030 thickness not an 024 uh, this screwless exterior process has been around quite a while. A uh, surprising number of industries actually use the same process. Uh, the airline industry is commonly known for using the same 3M product. 5,200 pound axles, again, we've equipped on this particular unit. This has the aluminum wheels uh, on it as standard equipment, as our radial tires. You also notice that the green cap on the tire, this is nitrogen filled. It does not have traditional spring equalizers in between the axles. That's because for 2021, these all have the torsion axle upgrades as standard equipment. 
also has the newer style Ford adjusting brakes and behind the cap on the uh, on the aluminum wheel assembly there uh, there's a Zerk for the easy loop hubs So let's stick our head under the trailer. We'll show you a little bit of those torsion axles, but then also some of the other features this one has a uh, integrated junction box for all the wiring makes it nice. You also notice that there's a gusset plate that uh, just ties everything together to the triple tube tongue. Gives a lot extra support. That gusset plate there is not normally on most trailers. Notice the wiring even underneath all grommeted ran to frame. And the outriggers on this are heavier than most. Most in the industry use uh, little form cross members like what you see underneath the trailer. They generally use them out here as well. This actually has a two by six uh, box tube uh, outrigger. A little bit heavier than industry norm. Also, the, uh, the torsion axles don't have your traditional mounting points. They bolt straight to the frame. They actually give you two extra cross members on the trailer, so you got some extra rigidity, but then also there's no attaching parts that need replaced. 16 on center floor is standard equipment. So again, this is an eight and a half by 16. You can fairly easily tell it's 16 because if you look at it from the backside, you can see the seams on the panels ever so slightly. So four of those would be 16 foot in length. So eight and a half foot wide, just to be clear, would be measured from the outside of the widest point, which would be your fender boxes. Uh, that skirting's about an inch, so your outside of your box is eight foot four. And I'll show you in a second, your through the door measurement between spring cables is right around just over seven foot. If you look at the back, this unit has the uh, rear hoop, gives it a nice clean look. It's got dual aluminum grab handles. A lot of times in the industry you'll get one handle, oftentimes plastic. This has the dual aluminums. Also has a little bit heavier door hardware. This is uh, a made in USA hardware. A lot of your hardware is not quite, uh, not quite as nice or heavy duty. Uh, oftentimes comes out of China. Uh, one of the new for 2021s as well is the backup lights. Uh, they are now standard equipment. Four of what we call the full width hinges across the back. They're about a 10 inch wide hinge and they've got the zerts on each one of them. Some of the industry use about a four inch hinge about yay wide. Sometimes you only get three. So a little bit of extra support on that ramp door for the higher duty cycle users. Ideal for again, contractor or landscaper. Extra bumpers on the ramp too, you get five of them. Some of our other products we carry do three. Uh, door hardware on this, you notice that it, it didn't squeak when it's opened. Also notice that uh, this is a security hardware. Oftentimes they'll go across the center. So the thief can fairly easily come by with an impact. Uh, that said, everything's as secure as as a Salzo or similar, a guy could certainly still come by and break in fairly easily if he really wanted to. The way this is set up, it keeps honest people honest, I believe is how it's described. Uh, the ramp flap extension, another little detail we like, they use a, a Z hinge on these. So basically your hinge uh, doesn't have to worry about getting, getting ripped up. There's also more lags on this ramp flap extension. Sounds like a little detail, but if you're a contractor, you'll certainly understand if you use this for a year or two, uh, there's two to three times more lags on this. Generally, it stays where it's supposed to. We have some trailer manufacturers uh, that we're in for service that they'll only put a lag every eight, nine, 10 inches and generally comes off over time. Of course, your center marker lights, outer markers. Walls on these are a little bit nicer. This is a, a, a birch, uh, still a 3 8 It's not a Luan, but it, it is a nice uh, finished product. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, your, your DC plywoods. Uh, nice look. It's also, uh, I believe, 2020. The aluminum H mold was added. Gives it a nice look. There's no Luan strips. Uh, basically, that would zip into your wall and then your sheeting's all held in place. It's more secure, but it, it's also something that's just not going to come undone over time. Some of the one strips we replace before they even go out the door. Ceiling liner on these is now standard. Uh, it's above the bows. Gives it a, a nice clean look, but it's, it's also uh, got reflective insulation in it, so it keeps it cool. It's also above there a one-piece aluminum roof, which is going to keep your trailer cooler than what a Galvalume steel roof 
uh, wood, not to mention this is a fully uh, one piece roof, not a seam together roof. Dome light uh, toward the front third and then also toward the rear third. They tie into a residential style wall switch. Also notice the door on this is the uh, RV style door. You can lock these from the inside or the outside. And also has the integrated side door step. 16 on center walls and floors are standard equipment. It's got the engineered floor on a 16 on center stud. Fender boxes are powder coated on these. So you'll notice all the, all the steel that's visible on shore tracks a little bit cleaner than some of our other brands. It's because it's blasted properly and then uh, has a high gloss finish to it. Flow through vents for cross ventilation are standard equipment at the rear uh, rear passenger side and then your front driver side you've got your inner and outer uh, designed to cross ventilate air in a diagonal you also notice that there's a cove on this particular unit so running around the perimeter gives it a finished look side door again on this is the RV style Notice it's got the metal handle, not the uh, plastic. Side door hold back on this is metal as well. Very simple to use. Even with one hand. This trailer is going to weigh in at about 3,200 pounds with the, uh, with the higher GVW on this. You're going to be able to net um, just under 7,000 pounds plus your tongue weight. Tongue transfer to the truck is going to net roughly another thousand to fifteen hundred pounds of available payload awesome trailer for again landscape or contractor we do stock this a few different ways stock it with barn doors stock it with the ramp also do uh, some with some additional options such as ladder racks again we do offer the stwch model which has the rear beaver tail uh, that model also has some d-rings and a bigger side door ideal for your motorsports uh, white, silver, charcoal, black, pretty traditional colors that we do keep in stock. Uh, other colors are available by order. Keep this generally in a 16, 20, and 24 foot length. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring. 717-220-4220 or check out our inventory on our website at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.